Hello again, and uh, today we're going to have a quick look at the Smart Reframe. Just uh, a couple of things here. The Smart Reframe is only available in the Studio version. And there's something else we'll come on to in a moment. But if you've got a 16 by 9 and you want to create the vertically orientated 9 by 16, so yeah, 1920 by 1080, and you want to swap it for 1080 by 1920. This is quite a good tool to use. It does use the DaVinci Resolve Neural Engine. A couple of points here. One is on the auto. The only option available to you is if you've got more than one clip selected. Which is the reference point if you want to manually adjust what it's looking for. So let's just jump into Resolve. And here we are in Resolve. So we've got this video downloaded here of a surfer. It's all quite dramatic, but what we want to do is convert that to a 1080 by 1920. So you might be tempted to come across here. You might be tempted to use the vertical resolution here. 1920 by 1080, switching it over to a 1080 by 1920 with this checkbox. But if we do that, it looks quite good. But as you can see, it dips in and out of the shot quite a lot. So we'll come back into here. Our original and what we're going to do is change the timeline resolution so here we go that's our timeline timeline settings and make sure you've got this unchecked here use the project settings if you've got anything different and then switch that to the vertical resolution a couple of options there Center crop, scale full, scale entire, or stretch frame. For the moment, we'll just leave it on the scale full frame with crop. Okay. And there we go. As you can see, it's dipping in and out. So we'll pick a point where it's quite prominent. And what we'll do is the object of interest, leave that as auto, and we'll reframe it. And then, as you can see, it's done quite a good job of keeping him in the centre of the picture. So let's just get rid of this surfer export that we used earlier. And we're now going to pick the bike, another shot. Here we go. We can see this person on a bike, dipping in and out. What we're going to do is pick the reference point and then pick this little, I suppose, crosshairs. Select what we're looking for. Click Reframe. So let's just play this clip through now. We've done the reference point reframe. As you can see, we've kept the cyclist almost in the centre. Doing very well. So now when you go to Export in the vertical, it looks an awful lot better. So I hope someone found this useful. As I say, it is only available in the studio version. If you're doing a lot of vertical video, it may be worth investing in the studio version. To save you a lot of headaches, leave a comment and subscribe. And many thanks for watching.